I have another flashlight review for you today. This time it is the C2 from Wuben, both a flashlight and a power bank. And spoiler alert, this is the flashlight I wish I had when I was still on patrol. If you're interested in learning why, keep watching. All right, I just want to declare that this flashlight was sent to me by Wubin for testing and review, and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these lights. All right, so what we'll do now is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the performance and physical specifications for this flashlight. I'll go over its modes of operation, and then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we start taking a closer look at the flashlight itself, I want to show you what it came with. So this is the box that the Wubin C2 arrived in. Inside of the box, we have the manual with warranty information. Put that aside. Let's just dump everything else out and put the box aside. So we have the USB Type-C charging cable, a lanyard, and a pair of spare O-rings. Important to note at this point is that there is no spare charging port cover. I'm not sure if that was omitted unintentionally or not, but it would be nice to have a spare charging port cover. All right, let's bring the flashlight back in. So just before we take a look at the specifications for this light, I just wanna go over a few of the key features. So I did mention when I opened this video up that it was both a flashlight and a power bank, and I'll show you that briefly right now. So under the charging port cover, you should be able to see a USB Type-C input port as well as a regular USB output port. Now you can in fact charge two devices with this at the same time as the USB Type-C will also put energy out if you have the appropriate cable for it. So what else do I like about this flashlight right up front and I think is a key feature? It is the Wuven breathing light and I've talked about that before on other flashlights. Basically what what happens is on inside of the on off button is a W and that W will start glowing blue on and off if you have it turned on it's a feature you can turn on or off and what I really like about that is is when this you lay this down in the dark on your nightstand or in your tent then it makes it easy to find this flashlight in the dark now you may not like that feature and it is easy enough to turn on and off and I'll share that with you in a moment now here's the feature that I said in the the beginning makes this the light I wish I had when I was on patrol. Basically, this is like a small searchlight. This has a beam cast of 358 meters. And when you get it, we get it outside, you'll see just how clear and tight that beam is. Yet it still has sufficient spill that allows it to have good area light around the center portion. Okay, now let's get into the specifications for this light. So beginning with the physical specifications, this light has an overall weight with the battery installed of 6.7 ounces or 190 grams. The overall length is 5.06 inches or 128.6 millimeters and a diameter of 1.14 inches or 29 millimeters. It is powered by a 4800 milliamp 21700 lithium ion rechargeable battery and it does have an IP68 uh, drop uh, IP68 waterproof dustproof rating and a drop resistance of 1.5 meters. The Wubin C2 does have a turbo level mode, which will come in at 2,000 lumens, but that'll only last for one minute before the heat protection circuitry brings it down to 700 lumens, but that will last for another three hours. The high level comes in at 1,200 lumens for three minutes, then steps down to 600 lumens for three and a half hours. Medium is 400 lumens, and that will last for five hours. Low is 130 lumens, and that will last for 15 hours. And the eco mode is five lumens, and that will last for 300 hours. The C2 does have a strobe that comes in at 1200 lumens and an SOS, which comes in at 200 lumens. As I mentioned, the C2 does come with a 4800 milliamp 21700 type 
lithium ion rechargeable battery. And to charge this battery, you plug in through the USB type C charging port in here. And while it is charging, it will show red and the LED inside of the on off and then turn to blue when complete. complete. For as far as battery status goes, the light when turned on will be blue if the power is greater than 90%. It will start flashing blue when the power is between 40 and 90%. It'll turn to solid red when the power is between 15 and 40%. And if it's flashing red, you're under 15% power time to recharge. The C2 is operated by a single power button on the side of the flashlight. Holding the button down for one full second will turn the eco mode on, turn the flashlight off, turn it back on again. And now you can operate, go up through the cycles by holding the button down to low, medium, and high. If I turn, double tap the flashlight, it will turn on the turbo mode of 2000. If I double tap while it's in turbo, It'll go into strobe mode, and if I double tap again, it will go into the SOS mode. Turning the flashlight off uh, and on again, it has a memory for the last lumen setting used. With many flashlights, if you double tap the on off button while the flashlight is off, you go directly to turbo. However, however with the C2, if you double tap while it's off, it goes directly into strobe. You can double tap again, and it will go back into SOS, double tap again, back to strobe, off again. Memory will take it back to the last level that you used. Final two features I want to share with you for the Wubin C2. First is the breathing light. To activate the breathing light, you triple tap the on-off switch, one, two, three, and that will start the light glowing blue, turning off glowing blue. This is a great feature for locating the light in the dark. I quite like that feature, but if you don't like it, just turn it off again, but another triple tap, one, two, three, and that turns that light off. The other feature is the flashlight has an electronic lockout. So in order to activate the lockout, press down on the on off switch quickly four times one two three four the light will flash and that tells you that it is locked out so it doesn't matter how many how often you press the button it's not going to turn the light on accidentally to disable the lock do the same thing again press down four times one two three four and now uh, the light is active again haven't gone over all of the specifications and features of the Wubin C2. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to get outside and do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing of the Wubin C2. I do have some backlight to give me a little bit of ambient light here on the snow. You can probably see that. I don't think you're going to see the eco or the low, but let's see. Well, all right, eco. It is showing up for me. I don't know if it's showing up for you. Low, not bad, medium, better yet, and high. Turbo, a little bit brighter, not a lot, but some. Strobe, SOS. And back to high again. All right, that's the Wubin C2. All right, let's close this video out with a few comments on the Wubin C2 flashlight. So when I open this video up, I mentioned that this is the flashlight I wished I'd had when I was on patrol in the police department. It, and that's primarily because of the beam cast, 358 meters, tight white light, but still having enough spill and flood to be a good balance. This is a great flashlight for police work or any other emergency services work, but it's still also a good flashlight for camping and even EDC. It does have a deep carry pocket clip, so it does ride nicely in my pocket. Some people may find it a bit heavy, and yeah, maybe for everyday carry, but you know, I have carried this quite a bit recently, and uh, it's not that bad, honestly. So what else do I like about the light? I like the fact that it is a power bank, as well as a flashlight. Honestly, I probably won't use that feature all too often, 
but it's good to have it if you really need it, such as a point when your cell phone is about to die and you have to make that call. I really like the Wubin breathing light. I think I've mentioned that a few times. This is really a convenient thing to have in your tent or at home when you it, it's dark, uh, maybe the power's gone out at home and you want to be able to find your flashlight. Seeing that breathing light allows you to find it just that much more easily. However, as I mentioned, if you don't like it, then it's easy enough to turn off again. The one thing I I'm not sure about why they did this at Wubin, and that is the fact that they only provided the one battery port or battery charging port cover. Why they didn't provide a spare, I'm not sure. It may have been a mistake, and maybe if you've gotten one of these from Wubin, let me know if you actually got a spare battery port cover. I'd be interested. In fact, if you have any comments or any uh, suggestions or any experience with the Wubin C2, please put those in the comments section below. And as I mentioned before, I'll be putting all the information for this light as well as where you can purchase it in the video description. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.